Alright, this is a tutorial on how to be a beast. One versus nine, as you can see right there. You can get that. Using the commando in the China Lake, running scavengers, sleight of hand, and marathon with a claymore. And how to be a beast. For one, you don't camp. Oh, shit. Two, you need two. Hit fire. Always watch your back. Knife if you have to. Keep it quiet. Have to fire long range. Never use a submachine gun for long range unless you know you can certain for sure get the kill. Because if you just fire, you're just killing yourself. Always turn around as fast as you can. One never use second chances. Time is noobish. And as soon as you master that, you can be as big a beast as you want to be. China Lake, just to add a little bit of explosion to my classes. Someone ran into my Claymore. And a real beast can pick up any other person's weapon and still be able to beast with it. You don't have, just have to use your weapon. The Stoner 63, some people say it sucks, I say it's good. Woo, shit. Hit fire, and that's without steady aim. I am going 25 and 0. If this is my one for two, that would have been a nuke. I made the mistake of zooming in there, that could have been my life. And for those of you that probably haven't noticed, this is combat training. I am running points to 30,000, so this video may not be complete. Because, of course, YouTube only allows us, only allows us a, a 10 minutes. See, right there, I messed up, and I didn't t look over. That was... As you can see, they revive each other. Go around. And if you miss it, knife them. Now, I was just reminded by my cameraman right now that also to be a true beast, you must have a very quick trigger finger. And to give you an example, let's see if I can find an M14 to show y'all with. Shit. Hate these guys. Alright. Oh, and you also gotta save your kill streaks no matter what. Save your kill streaks to like the end. Because they can really come in handy to like kick you back up with your team losing. See. Grenade launchers don't do as much damage as they would in Modern Warfare 2, so it's like, do not rely on them to be your life source, because they will get you killed. Primary gun is always your best gun. If you're running sleight of hand, congratulations. If you're running sleight of hand pro, well then, you are kind of a beast. I say kind of, because... Well, no, you are a beast, because it does take a little bit to get to the hand pro. You can tell I'm not running hardline, because it's not taking me that long to get these. I am running scavenger. Shit. And I am calling these dogs. Again, one against nine. And this is actually, just so you'll know, I am not, like, going in, like, completely hardcore, because I am going in... This is a tutorial on how to be kind of a beast. This is more for the beginning players. Like, not because I can go up against a little bit more experienced players, but this is like just to help out all the beginners. That like, because I know a lot of people didn't play Marvel for 2 and they just jumped into Black Ops. I know a lot of them need help. And I take that back when I said second chance is a noob 
perk because it's not it really does help like here if you know where they're going to spawn just put a claymore down and try and trap them spawn trap them the dogs are beasting completely push you in there make sure i don't kill them wow my dogs are doing good i am 79.5 the highest guy on their team has 2 and 12 my cameraman has gotten kind of close uh I'm going to call him Chopper Gunner. For those of you who haven't seen Chopper Gunner, it's not like Modern Warfare 2's Chopper Gunner. This is a little different. I actually prefer this Chopper Gunner better. Shouldn't have called it in right there. I'm going to get killed. 350 is killed Chopper. Level 9, 49. As you can tell, I've been doing combat training a lot. It really does help practice with kill streaks and with certain guns that I have had trouble with because I have had trouble with the I'm trying to think what gun I had trouble with the uh, scorpion at first because the scorpion the range on it is not too far and I mean I don't I don't get up close as much as what I do far range so it's like I just have to go in and get the kills I need commando is a really good gun it's like to me and I'm probably going to get a lot of people that say that they disagree. That, to me, it's kind of like the uh, ACR of uh, Black Box. Crap, Rolling Thunder might kill me. Yes, I still don't understand how that Rolling Thunder gets you. I'm calling the dogs. If I can get a close view of the dogs. Alright, my cameraman's like, I don't know what he's doing. Right, I'm gonna call in another one. Dogs are beasting. I am 127 and 6. That is before I called in the chopper. Quad, baby! There's nothing I can be proud of though. It's combat training, so it doesn't really matter. Now, see if you're a beginner, just. Get online and do recruit. Set your computer at recruit and it's a lot easier to just go in and even practice. They don't kill you as fast, which is actually what I'm playing on right now, just so I can show like all the beginning players how to just this is like just a like a slow motion tutorial on how to show them how to become sort of a beast on Black Ops. I mean there are people who are a lot like they can beast a lot more than what I can, but I mean, I've been told by quite a few friends that I am a beast with at least a ballistic knife. The ballistic knife is one of my favorite weapons. And then I'll call it one more rolling thunder. This is gonna fucking kill me. I'm gonna run. Woo! Okay, I survived that. Always pick up another enemy's weapon if you don't like your secondary. No matter what it is, if you know you can use it, use it. See, as I can see that being sniped. Crap! Watch, check these kill cams out. These guys like take their time and it's a perfect shot. Just come up here. Oh, shit. Get fire if you have to. But always watch your back. It's rule number one to being a beast. Always watch your back. Never turn your back. And this video, I think, my cameraman is signaling to me that we have 50 seconds left. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're getting the countdown. 30. 30 seconds. We're not going to be able to show this whole... Here we go. Let me show the trigger finger real quick of a beast. And that's without a modded controller right there. I've been told by a few friends. I think we got 20 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up with one last rolling thunder. And let's do the rolling thunder, let's see what we get. And thank y'all for watching. And there's rolling thunder. Thanks.